All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series where today we are of course still playing as the Principality of Amalfi with our now 35 year old Grand Prince Mastino the Blessed and today my friends we are continuing to wait out the timer on this threat level as well as now waiting out the timer on our new heir waiting for him to come of age of course so that I don't um, suffer title loss on succession I mean come on we have controlled Amalfi for a very long time at this point. Hundreds of years! And we cannot lose it now to the Urso family. It is just... It, it would be... It would be unacceptable. I would be flabbergasted by the even mere possibility. And yet, right now, it is actually a possibility. And it terrifies me. And also slightly enrages me. But, oh well, we... We decided to stick with our son as our heir because he's a genius little kid. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's hope that goes well for us. Or it all could blow up in our face. One of the two! We'll have to find out. Now, besides all of that, I am starting to get a little bit more worried about things in my kingdom. Now, we have talked on a few occasions about the religious situation. And it's not really an issue that my Catholic country has many Sunni leaders because I have pretty good tolerance, so it's not really causing much of an issue, but it is meaning that all of these rulers do have a permanent slight negative against me, well, except for him, oddly enough, he just hates me because of too many held duchies, but the nobles, etc. don't like me because of a different religion, which... Uh, you know, I really don't need any more negatives against myself, and, um, yeah, I now realize that the majority of my vassals are now Sunni. In fact, at the end of the last episode, I noticed this little emblem change, and I thought it was just because one person usurped another title, which did happen, but it wasn't how I thought. In fact, it is because at the end of the last episode, or towards it, rather, Spoleto converted. And I just do not understand how everyone keeps converting. I really don't. Now, you guys in the comments have said that there's probably a secret society like the one that I was in for a little while. And that's probably why it's happening. It's just that, which I understand that, but how do I combat such a thing? And why in the hell am I the only country that this is happening to? And now you guys said, of course, that it's because I have stuff over here in that part of the world. But... So does the Byzantine, so does Georgia, so does the Holy Roman Empire, so does Lyon, and yet none of them are having this issue. It's just me, which is annoying the ever-living crap out of me. <laughs> Now, the main reason I'm worried about it, like I've said, is I'm worried about these guys converting counties over to another religion, because in EU4, that will become a bigger issue. And I, as I've said many times in the past, I freaking hate the religion system in EU4, so I don't want to deal with it. So I really need to start getting these guys moved around, and, um... I don't know what to do. The only thing I can think of at this moment, because we do have to take some more drastic measures, is to pretty much go to war with all of them and take their titles away and give them to someone who is of the same religion as me. Problem with that is, is that's a lot of freaking wars. Like I said, most of my vassals now are Sunni, and I don't understand why. <laughs> And they just keep converting over and over. France used to be Catholic. Uh, Aquitaine still is, thankfully. Aragon used to be Catholic. Pisa used to be Catholic. Spoleto was Catholic until the last episode. Thankfully, you know, the, <laughs> the Pope is still Catholic. Oh my god, if they get him, that would be hilarious, A. But B, what would actually happen to the papacy? That would be awkward. Which then brings me to this fella down here. I am really starting to get annoyed with how long it's taking him to proselytize things. So I'm thinking maybe we change him out. Which, oh, ah, he's 24? Oh god, I don't think I have someone better than him. Next best is Fort... Please don't tell me I'm seeing what I'm seeing right now. 
When did he convert? What the heck? <laughs> he was Catholic. He was Catholic. What? What? The, what? <laughs> I specifically picked him long ago when I when our character was Sunni, so that he would still start converting people to Catholicism. Oh my god, is that why this county hasn't flipped? How long has he been that? When did he convert? What the hell? <laughs> okay, first off, this explains a lot about this particular county. We've been trying to convert it for how many episodes now? And it's because he probably was. And then he converted. And then it switched and lost all the progress. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we have a new we have a new court chaplain now. He's nowhere near as good, but proselytizing you go, sir. Oh my god, how did our court chaplain get converted? He was, I know for a fact he was Catholic, because that's why I picked him and that's why I put him there. What the <laughs> I oh my I'm uh let's unpause. We've we've been here for six minutes now and I haven't unpaused yet. Oh my lord. <laughs> Maybe we'll actually get some progress now. I mean he's not as good as the guy I was using, but he's <laughs> he's got the right religion. <laughs> How many episodes has be has he been converting people to the other faith? <laughs> Oh, God, I am awful some days. I, I just, guys, I don't, I, I think that is probably one of the worst things I've done in this game so far. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. My whole empire is at war with various people. Who are you all fighting? You, Kumania. Oh, yeah, you're trying to take Amiens still. Uh, France, what are you doing? You are doing the Valencian Conquest of Catalan. Very good. And defending against Queen Amelia's... Oh! <laughs> you're, you're the one fighting Queen Amelia of Cumania. Ah. Well, that'll be actually be an interesting fight. They actually are my two largest vassals. Hmm. Hmm. And who is this? Courtier. Do I care what he's doing? Young Alavis loves doing things his own way and often takes it personally and gets angry when others offer opinions. So I could guide him and chance he becomes diligent. Or he is a busy soul just like me and he becomes paranoid. I'll go with chance to be diligent. Okay. Oh my god, I can't st I still can't believe this down here. What the hell? <laughs> Not my brightest moment. Oh god, now I got to keep track of my court chaplain and make sure he stays, you know, stays the course. <laughs> well, he's actually he actually is Oh wait, no, I'm his direct liege. I thought he was with the papacy because of the theocracy thing, but he is a bishop. So technically still yes, theocracy. Ah boy. Uh, let's build some things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the hell? We'll build a university here. I could use one in, a mo in, uh, in Venice. I mean, I don't need more boats here. We already got plenty of boats from this port. Plenty of boats overall, frankly. I've never really had a problem with boats, so never really, never really buy the additional shipyards. What about our capital? What do we got going here? Shipyard! <laughs> no. Uh, you, anything fun to build? A militia training ground? Uh, what is this? I don't think it was meant to hurt me, but the criticism still stung. Wait, who criticized me? Okay, what is this? Chance of becoming wrathful. I get martial, but I lose diplomacy. Ooh, no, no, no. Cannot lose diplomacy right now because that will lower my vassal limit. I'm just on the edge of having 16, so I cannot lose that. Let's go for the possibility of becoming patient. That will actually up my diplomacy. And intrigue, stewardship, and learning. Beautiful. I gain patient. Perfect. 
Yes. Yes, I am a patient man. Who is this? Oh, God, people usurping more things. Who did he usurp within our own territory? Fair enough. You do you. Hmm. Wait, who are you? Hold on. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Same same pop-up. Same thing. Okay. Dear Grand Prince Mastino of Amalfi, during your wife's visit... Why is my wife visiting everywhere? Now she's up there in... Well, part of Wales, also part of England. Okay. What a wonderful idea for, you know... We like each other. Woo. <laughs> why is my wife traveling so often? I mean, again, it explains why... She, or rather, how she keeps having kids. But... I guess I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh. Ooh, actually, I just thought about something. Uh, can't I? Yes, intrigue. Invite a holy man to court. I make it a better person for the, the, the job down here. Invite holy man to court. I've gained him. Yes, he's better. Excellent. Okay, he's my new dude. He is my new court chaplain. The, oh, oh, God, we also have another. Where did you come from? Seriously, where did he come from? <laughs> he wasn't in here earlier. Oh, I just wasted piety on this dude. Well, you know what? I'm picking him because I, I just am. <laughs> Oh, uh, I spent piety on him. I'm using him. Seriously, though, where the hell did that other guy come from? He just kind of... He just kind of popped in. He wasn't there before. You do your job and do it well. I need to... <laughs> I need to make back lost gains. Also, what were your other skills there? What was that? Ah, theologian. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Makes sense. Second Aragonian conquest of Alborasin. Oh, boy. Oh, he's going against... Oh, he's going against Brittany. Hold on a moment. Beautiful. Yes. Take land which is not ours. Wonderful. <laughs> Though, wait. Who, who's... Which one's this one? Ah, uh, that... Oh, oh, God lost it. Well, he's... Has quite an army. Ah, you. Yes. Yes, Aragon. Hmm. Oh, so you must be t going after something in here. Fair enough. Either way, I'm happy. You do you. Though, isn't he also in another war right now? Maybe this isn't the best of choices. Oh, no. Just hostile towards the revolt. A message arrives informing me that Count Gunther is planning a foreign trade route. Who is Gunther? Of course he's German. Demand monetary compensation. Well, wonderful. I like you, Gunther. You're okay. You're okay. Uh, good times. Okay, 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 okay. What, um... Uh, so what do you guys think? Comments, please, on the... How we can deal with these guys. Because it's, uh... It's really getting to a point where we really have to. And we've so distrust between... Alvaro of Saldana and King Diego. Fantastic. Good. Take that, Leon. I will cause a revolt, and then one day, one day I will conquer you. Hmm, who's that? Ferdinando's host. Oh, host army. Oh, okay. Yo, HRE, what you up to? Oh, holy war in Tripletania. Oh god, they're trying to take over more land. I why is the Holy Roman Empire going after so much of North Africa? It's kind of kind of annoying, honestly. Hmm. It's one thing I've kind of thought about maybe doing. Requesting an invasion of the Holy Roman Empire. I mean It could be fun. It could be fun. 
Let's see, let's read this thing again. The head of a religion has the power to grant a special... Oh god, pause because of the things popping. Has the power to grant a special Cassus Bedaio, allowing a full-scale invasion of a realm. If the attacker wins such a war, all occupied counties and attached vassal baronies will be cleared of their current owners and given to the invader, which is why I am interested in it. We just carpet siege a load of territories and then... Take, take anything we can. <laughs> so I'm kind of tempted to do that against the HRE. I would try and grab stuff here, and of course here. Oh, and of course. Well, I mean, <laughs> we we have to take this as well. It's 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 a necessity. We already we already have that island. We need this island too, and we have this. We need to we need to hold all the islands in the Mediterranean. I'm looking at you, Byzantines. <laughs> Perhaps we do this one day. Uh, child focus, who are you? Daughter. Uh, thrift. <laughs> and what is this? One title can be usurped. The Duchy of Auvergne. Who and I can usurp it from a usurper? So, I mean, what's the... the what's... Eh... Uh, I don't really care. Oh my god, we also took these things from him. <laughs> Take that, you fool! Hey, we got his stuff down here, too. Excellent. I'm actually quite happy about that, because Aquitaine, when we took it, we had those couple of little counties that were still free. That appears to be the last one they have. Beautiful. Duchy Strong Claim on the Grand City of Auvergne. County of Brabant. Duchy of Brabant. Yeah, that's his only thing left. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm happy about that. Uh, maybe we do usurp it. Maybe we do usurp the title. And then give it to Aquitaine. Yes, let's do it. Perfect. I've usurped it, and now I give it to Aquitaine for him to take. Republic of Avern! Take it, my friend. Take it. Use it as you will. Conquer him. Conquer him. <laughs> oh, wow. You actually could have been a good um, court chaplain, too. Except you didn't want to be. You fool. Okay, so things are going. Who can we arrest? Polkarios, still Aquitaine. I'm tempted to, but he's he's Catholic, so I'm cool with him right now. <laughs> yeah, just well, maybe we go after the Polcarios family. Demand conversion never works. Oh my God, yes, thank you. Back to converting. <laughs> County is still, uh, is still there. That's probably gonna take a while. Child needs a focus. My daughter. Ooh, make a warrior child. Perfect. Any of my kids coming of age soon? No, I really, really should start marrying them off to people. Hmm. Byzantines, you got anyone who wants marrying? Or needs marrying, rather? <gasps> you! Arrange betrothal. You're eight? My child, the heir? Aw, oh, come on! Damn you. <laughs> what is this? As courtier is growing older, I can set the or see that Antonia could use some guy. No, I don't give a crap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I never do that one because it just it's it's more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, I kind of want to fight Aqua or uh, fight the Holy Roman Empire now. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you still Catholic? First off, beautiful. You're doing a good job, sir. I'm happy with you. Stay Catholic. <laughs> uh, boy. I'm still surprised by this little breakout from the Byzantines. They've got a few things. Jeez, they got stuff over here. They got Cyprus. They got this over here, here. Interesting. Hmm. 
mostly held by the king himself. Oh god, I'm on pa I paused. Damn it. <gasps> Mongol revolt. Oh boy, big revolt. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, is there capital in revolt? Oh, no, capital there. Ah, take that, Mongols. So what? No, Jesus. <laughs> Look at all of that. Damn. Okay. Oh my God. Do they have multiple revolts? They do. They have a Mongol Buddhist revolt, a Liberation of Perm revolt, and a Mongol Revolt League Independence War. And they're also defending against a Duke in the Vindian War for German claims on Kuma. Damn. And of course, they have multiple defensive packs against them. <laughs> oh, God, stop usurping things, Spoleto. You are becoming a bit. Too oh, Jesus, he usurped a lot of things. Damn. All right, Spoleto's starting to become a problem. Reese says her favorite toy is missing. Who's Reese's daughter? Okay. And she won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Offer to buy her a new one. She may gain fussy. Because uh, I have to go and find it. She likes me. And she still may gain fussy. And I lose prestige. Screw you, kid! Uh, she hates me now. Okay. Meh. Holy crap! Holy Roman Empire took all that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe we do do that war. Hmm. I want Leon first, though. <laughs> okay, my heir, my heir is growing older. I can see that Crusher could use some guidance. Now, see, he might be deserving of me doing this. He deserves greatness. We become rivals, but he gets ambitious, which would really help all of his traits here. Or be thorough and... <laughs> oh, boy. I become stressed, but he gets diligent. Eh. Or make the move at the right time and become patient. I'm going to go with this one. Yep, we become rivals, but I'm okay with that. He's my heir. If he kills me, oh well. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Yes. That's what I want to see. What is this? Oh, she stole things. Good. I'm alright with you. Let's check the papacy. How you doing? Got money? No, nominated bishop though. Hmm. I don't know why I'm nominating him, but <laughs> what the hell? Nominate him. He is my friend. Send. <laughs> I can, so why not? Uh my courtier don't care, he's on his own. Okay. Jeez, I'm not happy with Holy Roman Empire. Yes, he now has his own bishopric. Wonderful. Well, request nomination for bishopric, rather. Okay, still Sunni. You, still Catholic. <laughs> Young Crasher loves doing things his own way and often takes it personally, blah, 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 blah. I should, he might become diligent. Or he's a busy soul, just like me, and he could gain paranoid. Ooh, negative one diplomacy. I need him to have diplomacy. Which right now isn't great. Chance of becoming diligent. Oh, seems to uh, be a real explorer. Other person. Experimenter, constantly finding new ways to do things. They might become patient. Boys will be boys. Okay. I don't care. Courtier. Alrighty. Oh, boy. I should buy more ret now. I think they're up to the full now of what I bought. Hmm. But what to buy now? Perhaps more pikemen. That could be fun. 400 pikemen? I don't know. 
I would like them at an e even 6,000. Do we have anything that's 300? <gasps> we do! That many pikemen and 50 archers. Perfect. What is this? Daughter? Okay, what does she get? She becomes patient or loses trait curious and sympathy for Islam. No more spreading. <laughs> oh, boy. We have an anti-pope. <gasps> Where? Wait, him? Really? You set up an anti-pope? <laughs> oh, bless. That's just pathetic. We should kill him. Depose anti-pope. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, defensive pact. Forgot about that. <laughs> Damn it. Why do we have to have a defensive pack? Oh, rise of Shia now. Okay, you do you. Hmm. I need to just keep checking my court chaplain. Now I'm paranoid about it. Check him after it saves. Good. We got a lot of boats moving around. Oh, God. Spoleto, what are you going after now? Oh, for God's sakes. You're going after Menorca. Oh, my Lord. Or wait, hold on. Who is doing what? You're attacking Spoleto. Oh, okay, not Spoleto taking more land. I'm okay with that now. Hmm. Still, though, Spleto actually may have more than you. Yeah, he's definitely got more land. Oh, God. Yeah, Spleto is starting to become worrisome. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. Oh, mastermind theologian. Shy, trusting, proud, temperate, craven. What would it take to buy a favor from him? He won't! Because of his opinion of me. Send gift. Now will he? Nope. <laughs> Base reluctance. That's the unfortunate part. Ah, oh, boy. You, could I buy a favor from you? No. Why? Just base reluctance, huh? Maybe if you liked me more. Okay, I want to try this. I think we actually already tried this before. Wait, hold on. Dangerous faction, son of a... Uh. And... Yep, no, yeah, I think we... I'm pretty sure we tried this before. <laughs> it's a no. It's a no. Well, at least he'll stay out of factions now. Son of a... Oh, God, everyone's in factions again. Send gifts. Gifts to all. Aquitaine, really? Damn it. Oh, those bastards always require more money. At least you're cheap. You're not quite so cheap, but I have the cash, so good. Also not so cheap. 54, that's a good one. Nice deal on that. 38, even better. You may be someone I already did. Yes, you, because you guys have all joined the same thing twice. The same people are just in two plots. You all suck. Hey, someone who I can bribe. 650. Oh, fine. Oh, that should get them all off my back. Again, the monetary diplomacy wins. And actually, I. Well, let's uh, unpause real quick so that should hopefully disappear. And I think that is going to be it for this episode. We are roughly at the half hour mark. And, oh boy, what is this? Your marshal, yeah, whatever of burn, has come to you with a suggestion. My opinion that something or other of Tarento would make an excellent military commander. Yeah, sure, become a commander. Fine, I don't care. And now we pause because that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching. And, as always, have a good one.